Today I want to be very concrete and practical in talking about the development of the spiritual dimension of your life and about your spiritual growth. And as I do that, I'm going to present a four point plan for spiritual development, spiritual growth, for understanding the spiritual dimension of your life. But before I present my four point plan, I want to provide some context. If you've watched other videos, you probably understand this context already, but I want to be very clear as to uh, the context out of which I'm speaking. I understand the spiritual dimension of our life as being part of who we are as human beings. Just like we all have bodies, we have minds and cognition, we have emotions and feelings, spirituality is another dimension. It's part of what makes us human beings. So it doesn't matter whether you consider yourself religious, spiritual and not religious, agnostic, atheist, whatever label you use to describe yourself. None of that really matters in terms of what I'm about to say. What's important is to understand is the spiritual dimension is part of each and every one of us. And that no matter what metaphor, no matter what beliefs we have, the steps that we take for the development of that aspect of ourself are essentially the same. They're nuanced differently. There's different metaphors, different ways of understanding, different ways of saying things, but it's all the same basic content to develop your spiritual dimension of your life. So with that as a context, step one for your spiritual growth and development is to engage in a spiritual practice on a regular basis. It doesn't matter what that spiritual practice is. I tend to be more contemplative in my orientation, so I you know, do meditation and spiritual reading. You may be more religious and pray the rosary or some other kind of prayer. You may do something very different. For instance, I have a friend who I've known for decades who's a dancer, and she finds that she is most centered and most still within herself through movement and dance. So dance is her spiritual practice. Whatever that spiritual practice is, begin to do it regularly. You may not find that you're able to do it every day. That may be too much to start with. But even if you start three times a week and develop a regular pattern, a regular habit, that will enable growth to occur for you. So with this first step, look at your calendar, block on your calendar when you're going to do your spiritual practice. Make an appointment with yourself. Take it seriously. It needs to be a priority. That's just the same as if you were going to work out and try to, to exercise and build your body. Laying in bed visualizing exercise isn't the same as doing exercise. You need to engage in exercise to see growth and health. The same is true for the spiritual dimension of your, body, of your life. You need to really engage on a regular basis. So that's step one. Engage in a spiritual practice on a regular basis. Step number two, learn about the spiritual practice. Learn more than you already know. I'm not asking you to be a scholar. I'm not asking you to read a book a week. Instead, come to some greater understanding of spirituality and the practice you're doing, what the practice is about, what people have experienced with it, what it looks like, some variations with it, those kinds of things. You can read books, you can watch videos, you can, can find other ways of learning through lectures or retreats, but do something to expand what you know. If you found this video channel, this YouTube channel, then you're moving in the right direction and there are other resources available for you. But don't just do a practice, learn more about it, learn how it fits in your life, learn more about spirituality. That's important. It's an important aspect of yourself. Third step. So we have learn, engage in a spiritual practice, learn more about it. Third step is to share with other people. Spiritual growth and development happens best in a context of community. Now, community is a hard issue today for most people 
the lives we lead are, are, are so complicated, and, and I'm not going to try to explain why community isn't working. It just doesn't work real well for people. But connect with others who were doing similar things and develop some relationships. That may, they may be virtual relationships. They may be relationships with people you already know and that you're going to take a, a step deeper by talking about spirituality. But however it is, connect with others and share because you're going to learn more about yourself through others. You're going to hear their reflections. You're going to be able to say things and, and share parts of your experience, and, and that will help take you deeper. And, and that's going to be an important dimension for your growth. So the third step really is connecting with others, having some semblance of a community that supports your spiritual growth and development. And the fourth step is to engage with a spiritual director from time to time. I've talked a lot about spiritual direction in other videos. I often make reference to it. Spiritual direction is an important practice to help you develop your spiritual life more fully. Part of what happens when we're left on our own is that we'll go, grow in an imbalanced way. I see lots of things on social media and hear people talk about how when something gets uncomfortable, they just don't want to do it and pull back from it, especially in regard to spiritual practice. A spiritual director will help sort that out with you and help you to understand where an authentic growing edge is, because sometimes we need to push through difficult things. Other times we need to realize that the difficult thing is a wound that needs to be healed. That's something that a spiritual director can help you with. It's an important part of the process. You'll see a spiritual director maybe every month or six weeks. You'll do that for a while, but it'll be a really helpful piece of your spiritual growth and development. So four point plan for your spiritual growth and development. First point, engage in a spiritual practice on a regular basis. Second, learn more about that spiritual practice and about spirituality itself. Third, share with others, develop some sort of a community, connect with people who are like-minded. Fourth, work with a spiritual director to help really support your growth in a balanced and whole way. If you have any questions, if you need resources, if you need assistance, please comment in the comment section. I will respond to questions, provide resources, try to be helpful. Know that your growth is why I am creating these videos. That's why I'm here. And I appreciate the time you take to listen. Be sure to subscribe to this video, share it with others, like it, click the bell so you're notified of future videos. And know that I really want to support your spiritual journey, your growth to wholeness, because it's an important part of who we are as individuals. Thank you. <music>